vaša kći, vaš unok ili unučica tako su postali bolji od vas, onda ste uspjeli. Onda možete vidjeti i potvrditi da je duh Boži u njima. Zato molite za njih, pratite ih, ali najviše ljubite ih i dajte dobar primjer. Pa će taj primjer biti kao jedan magnet koji će vas držati zajedno kao jedna obitelj. A tu je najveći blagoslov. Kada se obitelji zdrže zajedno, muž i žena se vole i ljube u vjernoj bračnoj ljubavi, djeca poštivaju svoje roditelje, tako se ta ljubav prenosi na nove generacije. I tu je snaga duha svetoga, koji danas molimo i zazivamo na ovu mladež. My dear young friends, we are here today and we are so happy with you. With you because you are receiving the Holy Spirit today. These are seven gifts, seven special gifts that the Lord is giving to you today as you mature on your way to adulthood. You are no longer small children. You are now growing, heading towards adulthood, and the church is accompanying you along the way. As you receive these gifts, you will become, we can say, mature Christians, mature followers and witnesses of Jesus Christ. In a few moments now, you will be giving your promises. When I will be asking you, do you renounce Satan? Your answer will be, I hope, will be yes. Yes, we renounce Satan, everything that is wrong, everything that is evil, everything that is sinful, everything that does not lead to God, we have to avoid in our life. Why do we do this? Because we know that if we start listening to Satan speaking to us, we're heading on the wrong path. We're heading on a path of destruction. God does not want to destroy you. He wants to build you up. He wants you to develop into his son, his daughter. God wants the best for you. The same way that your parents, your grandparents, your wider family want the best for you because they love you, The same is true of God, our Father, who is above and much more perfect than any parent can be. God the Father wants us to grow, to mature, to become the best people we can be. But we can't do it alone. That's the secret. Sometimes we think we can do it by ourselves. And this is the mistake we make. But we doubt God. We don't trust enough on, on, in Him, in His gifts. His gifts are there for the taking. All we have to do is ask for them in our prayers, in our wishes, our desires, so that everything you do will be honest, will be truthful, will be good for you, for your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your family, the wider family, the community, the country we live in, the world that we live in. And the world that we live in, we know, is a difficult place. There's a lot of confusion out there. There's a lot of sin out there. A lot of temptations to go into various types of dependencies. God does not want us to become dependent on anything that is wrong or evil. Anything that can lead to a problematic future for us. That can destroy our lives, our living. And not only ours, but our wider families and cause a great destruction. Great evil as well. This is why God wants us to be, first of all, to be free to free ourselves to make good decisions, free to love, free to serve, free to do good. I'm not free to choose something that will make me a slave to my sins and sinful habits. This is why Christ came into the world, to relieve us of our sins, to take them away for us. We, do not, we deserve punishment because we are prone to sin, but be, due to his sacrifice on the cross, we have been forgiven. And how wonderful it is to know that our sins are forgiven through his sacrifice. When you do something wrong, you might have had this experience already in your life. When you do something wrong, you feel bad, you feel sorry, you have to ask for forgiveness, you apologize to the person you have hurt, and when that person forgives you, you feel much better. You know that that person will remain your friend, will continue to speak with you, will continue to maintain the friendship. 
God, all that is, that's all that God wants from us too, is a recognition of sin. And then we're on the right path. Today you will be receiving the gifts of the Holy Spirit of wisdom, understanding, knowledge. This is something special. To grow in the knowledge and wisdom of God himself who is giving this to you. He will also give you fortitude or courage as well. Piety and the fear of God. These are the various seven gifts along with counsel. All of them are very important for our lives. These are the characteristics we can say of that one spirit that comes from God. And so now it is up to you to respond. Sometimes people say that you are the future of the church. And this is true. But I like to say, you are the church already. Not just the future, you are the today of the church. This is why I would encourage you from today onwards, even though you were receiving the Holy Spirit today, to continue as active members of your community. You can say, how can I do that? I'm still young. I don't know enough as well. You can. Why not? We have many activities. Keep together with your group your group of your friends here that you have established while pre in preparation for confirmation. Join the choir. Why not join a, a youth choir here and establish one as well? Be an altar server and help the priests at the altar. Help with reading. Thank you for the readings today. You see, you are capable of reading as well and reading very well. This is a way that we become active members of our parish community and keep the faith going, keep that friendship with Jesus going, and amongst ourselves. Be a member of the youth group as well. Help in any other activities that the parish may do, and give your part. Do your part. This is a sign of your maturity. This is what your parents want for you too. They want you to grow up to become mature and responsible young people. This is the greatest gift that you could give your parents today as well, to show through your actions, through your decisions, through the way you live your life, that you are capable of being mature and responsible. This is a great gift. And this is the best thing you can do for your parents, when they can see that you have made good choices and that you avoid bad things, that you, may, you are a responsible person, that you are truthful and honest in everything. Then you can say you will have a bright future. Whatever path you may take, whatever vocation you may choose in your life, you know that with God you are never alone. Jesus said in the gospel we heard today, I will send forth the advocate. The advocate is the one who is defending us, defending us against the evil of the world, and he's like our lawyer, defending us before the accuser, the one who's trying to constantly tempt us to avoid God and to go into sin, a life of sin. But the Spirit is there at our taking if we want it. That's the key. If we believe and trust in God. This is why, my dear friends, I would today encourage you from this day forward, every day of your life, when you wake up in the morning, say, thank you, Lord, for giving me this opportunity for a new day of life. And you start by making the sign of the cross in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And you say, come Holy Spirit, come and guide me through my day. We don't have to worry so much about tomorrow, but today, that we remain faithful to God today in everything we do. If we take it one step at a time, there will be no more reason for fear, for anxiety, for depression. Depression does not come from God. Neither does anxiety, no fears either, because God is constantly reminding his people, this phrase is in every book of the Bible, fear not, for I am with you, or be not afraid, for I am with you. If you believe that, then you know Christ is with you always. If you remain faithful to him, he will remain faithful to you. This is why we implore upon you today, and ask that the Holy Spirit cleanse you, strengthen you, inspire you, and guide you in your lives so that you too can become friends of Christ, 
his witnesses in the world, his witnesses before even your friends and family and others. Some might think, well, this is not so cool, going to church, singing in a choir, reading in church, being an altar server, being part of a youth group at the church. There are cooler things to do in the world. Really? Think twice about that. What, is, what can be much cooler? Life of dependency? Going to drugs, to alcohol, crime, whatever? That, that's what you want? Is that what you really want? Fame and fortune? Uh, to become, uh, I don't know what, in this world? Yeah, you see, all these people, we ha we're given these false images that these people are happy, that money will bring you happiness. Money can bring you, sure, some security in life, but it won't give you ultimate happiness. Power can also give you certain, yeah, influence in society, but it can't give you ultimate happiness. What can? Having a clear conscience. Having a conscience where you could say, I have done everything according to God's will. I've remained faithful to his commandments. I have not hurt anybody willfully. I've always been honest, I've always been truthful, I've always been faithful. This is a gift. This is the way we lead our lives. This is the only way to lead our lives, really. But this also includes a cross. Nobody says it's going to be easy. Even Christ was more, very honest with his disciples. And he said, he who wishes to follow me must renounce himself, take up his cross and follow me. Not easy. But the beautiful thing about Jesus is that he's so honest to everybody. You want to follow me? You want to be a friend of mine? Sure, come, but be ready for sacrifices. That is the truth of life, my dear young friends. And if you really want to know that too, all you have to do is talk to your parents. Talk to your grandparents too. I'm sure they have many stories of crosses, of difficulties, of sacrifices that they have had to make in their lives to make your life better. All with the wish to make your life much more easier in a way. But at the same time, they're providing the most important thing, the example of sacrificial love. That is the key. To be willing to take upon the sacrifices, the responsibilities that are necessary out of love. We do it out of love, not because it's a burden. Our faith is not a burden, something that we carry along with us as heavy baggage, but it is something that carries us, that carries us through this world, knowing that, yes, if I am willing to take upon myself the responsibility of being a young, mature Christian, I'm ready even for the sacrifices that have to be made in order to remain faithful to God, faithful to my commitment to Him, faithful to my family, my church, my society, my country even, in doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong. Let us pray now, brothers and sisters, that the Holy Spirit may guide you from this day forward until the end of your lives, and you will find purpose and meaning even in sacrifices and suffering. It's clicking again. That's a reminder. We'd ask the confirmants to please stand, those who are to be confirmed, to have the, now the renewal of your baptismal promises. Please stand, all the confirmants. And now I ask you, as you have prepared yourself for this moment and for your confirmation, I'm asking you a few questions on behalf of the church. And I would like to hear a loud and clear answer from all of you, to, for all of you to make your commitment to Christ this day. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? Very good. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today through the sacrament of confirmation is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts, and through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Please stand. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the rest of you may be seated. The confirmants and their sponsors shall get ready for the confirmation. may come forward now. Stella, primi pecha dara ducha svetoga, mir tebi. with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mora, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Katarina, come closer. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ariana, Ariana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Gabriel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Marco, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Christina, Clara, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ellery, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Mike. 
Mark us. See you with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Adriana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Maria, sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Gabriela, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Marco, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lucas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Adriana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Nicole, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Mm-hmm. No. Noah, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Please stand now for the prayers of the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God, the Almighty Father, and be of one mind in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceed from his Holy Spirit, are one. For the Holy Church, Pope Francis, our Bishop Douglas, here present Archbishop Petar, our Father Markle, and all who are separates leading us in faith, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian people around the world, may they be united in bearing witnesses to the death and resurrection of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our government and every nation, may they work for lasting peace in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our world who suffer because of war and violence and from poverty and disease, may their suffering soon come to an end, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents, godparents, and sponsors, they guarantee faith for us conformity. May they continue to encourage us by their words and example to follow in the footsteps of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit today, may we remain strong in our faith and always call upon the Holy Spirit in our need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For our deceased brothers and sisters who died in the hope of resurrection, may they see the light of your face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and willed that through them and their successors the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful, listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Molite, braćo i sestre, da moja vaša žrtva bude ugodna Bogu Otcu sve mogućemu. Primi o gospodin žrtvo iz tvojih ruku, na hvalu i slavu svega imena i na korist nama i čitavo je svoje svete crkve. Gospodine, slavimo spomen otkupljenja, kojim nam je Sin Tvoj zaslužio dar Duha Svetoga. Primi molitve naših krizmanika, Ti si im danas dublje utisnuo u dušu sliku svoga Sina, učini ih vjernim svjedocima Isusa Hrista, koji s Tobom živi i kraljuje u jedinstvo Duha Svetoga, Bog po sve vijeke vijekova. Gospodin s vama i s duhom tvojim, gore srca imamo kod gospodina. Hvalu dajmo. Gospodinu Bogu našemu. Dostojno je i pravedno. U istinu i dostojno i pravedno, pravo i spaha sonosno, da vas da i svakdje zahvaljujemo o tebi. Gospodine sveti oče, sve mogući vječni i Bože, po Kristu našem gospodinu, jer ti nam svake godine daješ da radosno čekamo vas mene blagdane, pokorom čistimo dušu, revnije se molimo i vršimo dijela ljubavi, te nas primanjem svetih otajstava obdariš svojim božahanskim životom. Iz toga, s anđelima i arkanđelima, s prijestolima i gospodstvima, i sa svom nebeskom vojskom, pjesmu Tvoje slave pjevamo bez prestanka. Svet, 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 gospodin Bog sabao, puna su nebesa i zemlja tvoje slave, osanja, osanja, osanja u Istinu sveci, gospodine, izvore svake svetosti. Tebe zato molimo, rosom duha svoga, posveti ove darove, da nam postanu tijelo i krv gospodina našega Isusa Hrista. Kad se dragovoljno predao na muku, on uze kruh, tebi zahvali, razlomi i dade učinicima svojim govoreći, uzmite i jedite od ovoga svi, ovo je moje tijelo koje će se za vas predati. Isto tako, pošto večeraše uze kalež, ponovno ti zahvali i dade učenicima svojim govoreći, uzmite i pijte iz njega svi, 
ovo je kalež moje krvi, novoga i vječnoga saveza, koja će se proliti za vas i za sve ljude na otpuštenje grijeha. Ovo činite meni na spomen. Tajna vjere. Tvoje smrtno svojine navještamo. Tvoje uskrsnuće slavimo. Tvoje slavim dolaze hrišće prije. Slaveći dakle spomen smrti i uskrsnuća Tvoga Sina, prinosimo Ti, Gospodine, kruh života i kalež spasenja i zahvaljujemo Ti što si nas pozvao da stojimo pred Tobom i Tebi služimo. Smjerno te molimo da nas, pričesnike tijela i krvi Kristove, Duh Sveti sabere u jedno. Spomeni se, gospodine crkve, svoje širom svijeta. Usavršio ljubavi zajedno s papom našim pranjom, biskupom našim daglasom i sve ukupnim svečenstvom. Spomeni se i naše braće i sestara koji usnuše u nadiju skrsnuća i svi koji preminuše o tvom smilovanju privedi ih svjetlu svoga lica. Molimo te, smiluj se svima nama, da zavrijedimo biti sudjunici vječnog života, s blažnom bogorojcom Djevicom Marijom, s blažnim Josipom, njezinim zaručnikom, s blažnim apostolima i svima svetima, koji su živjeli u tvojoj ljubavi, da te hvalimo i slavimo po Isu Kristu, tvome Sinu. Po Kristu i s Kristom i u Kristu, Tebi, Bogu, Otcu, svemogućemu, u jedinstvo Duha Svetoga, svaka čast i slava u sve vijeke vijekova. Spasonosnim zapovjedima potaknuti i božanskim naukom poučeni, usuđujemo se govoriti. Oče naš, koji je si na nebesima, sveti se ime Tvoje, Dođi, kraljestvo Tvoje, budi volja Tvoja, kako na nebu, tako i na zemlji. Kruh naš svakdanji daj nam danas i otpusti nam duge naše, kako i mi otpuštamo dužnicima našim i ne uvedi nas u napas, nego izbavi nas od zla. Izbavi nas, molimo gospodine, od svih zala, daj milostivo mir u naše dane. Da s pomoću Tvoga milosrđa budemo svakda i slobodni od grijeha i sigurni od sviju nereda. Čekajući blažnu nadu, dolazak spastelja našega Isusa Hrista. Jer Tvoje je kraljestvo i slava i moć u njegove. Gospodin Isuse Hriste, Ti si rekao svojim apostolima, mir vam ostavlja, mir vam svoj daje. Molimo, ne gledaj naše grijehe, nego vjeru svoje crkve. Daruje mir i jedinstvo, kako je volja Tvoja koji živiš i kraljuješ u vijeke vjekova. Mir, gospodnji, bio vazda s Vama. Pružite znak mira jedni drugima.
evo jaganjca Božjeg, evo onoga koji oduzima grijehe svijeta, blago onima koji su pozvani na gozbu jaganjčevu. Gospodine, nisam dostajan da niđeš pod krov moj, nego samo reci riješi o zdraviće duša moj. Sljedeći čin sve te pričesti, ovdje ispred najprije će se pričestiti krizmanici i njihovi kumovi, a onda ćemo onim redu slijedom tako da ovi koji sjede sa strane, oni idu prvi od iza, prema napred, vraćamo se uvijek okolo i kada završe ove strane, ljeva i desna do zida, tada će onda oni koji sjede iza prema napred u srdini i jedan poslužitelj će doći gore na balkon.
Pomolimo se. Gospodine, ti si ove krizmanike pomazao duhom svetim i nahranio sakramentom svoga sina. Prati ih nadalje svojim blagoslovom, nek svladavaju sve protivštine, svetošću budu crkvi na radost, a dijelom i ljubavlju promiču u svijetu njezin napredak. Po Kristu gospodinu našem. Evo na samom kraju ovoga prekrasnog slavlja, prije svega hvala i slava trojedinom Bogu što nam je podario ovako lijepi dan, ovako lijepo slavlje, da smo ovdje zajedno i da ovdje slavimo. Također velika hvala i nadbiskupu Petru Rajiću koji je evo nakon godinu i pol opet ovdje zajedno s nama i uvijek nas veseli i raduje kada može doći, bilo da slavimo župnog patrona ili pak da slavimo svetu potvrdu kada biskup, nadbiskup podijeli sakramenat našim mladima. Evo uvijek nam je čast i drago, ako neko možda i nadbiskupa Petra ne poznaje, on je naš domaći sin ovdje iz naših krajeva, a trenutačno je apostolski nunci u Litvi, Latviji i Estoniji. Još jedan put hvala lijepa i nadam se da će biti isto tako u budućnosti prilike za neka druga lijepa slavlja ovdje u našoj župi. Također veliko hvala svima onima koji su podmetnuli svoja leđa, svoje ruke i svoje talente kako bi ovo slavlje bilo lijepo i svečano. Hvala našoj Andreji na sviranju Hvala našoj teti Ani što je uredila, ukitila i učistila crku i pripremila sve za ovaj prekrasan dan. I prije svega hvala našoj katehistici Ivanki koja već 13 generacija priprema za ovaj njima svečan dan kada primaju darove Duha Svetoga, evo s ljubavlju i sa žarom punih 13 godina priprema naše mlade, evo, od mene u ime njih i svih župljana veliko hvala od srca. Dear confirmandi, sponsors and parents, a sincere congratulations to you. Today God has given you powerful gifts, gifts that are missing from today's society. Knowledge, wisdom, fear of the Lord, counsel, fortitude, piety and understanding are hard to find. All of these can remain, all of these can remain a check mark, a fulfilled category in your life, something that you finish, one more nice picture for the album or video as a memory. Or you could do something with these gifts. You can use these gifts of the Holy Spirit in your personal growth of faith to build up yourself, your community, and family. When someone presents you with a gift, it is nice to use it and make use of it. After Mass is done, following the blessing of the confirmandi, I ask that they stay here in front of the altar so that we can have a photographer, one nice picture together. Please leave a little space for our photographer, Ivana. She will take the picture of us, and after Mass, everyone can do what they like. So here is lots of room in our church, so I know there is 21 confirmandi, but everyone can find spot to take nice picture. Evo je na samom kraju, naši krizmanici htjeli bi nešto reći Michael. And... Katarina. To our teacher, Ms. Maninkovic, thank you for preparing us for this very important 
sacrament, our confirmation. We present these flowers to, in appreciation for all the time, all your time and caring for each one of us. Thank you, and may God bless you. Ustanite za završni blagoslov. I on my part would also like to thank Father Marko, Ivana, Anna who's there, Ivanka, all the others, the catechists, everybody who was participating in today's prayer. Remember the liturgy is a prayer, the prayer of the church, where our young confirmandi have received a gift today, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seven gifts, not just one, seven gifts of the Holy Spirit today. And you are asked to keep that gift and become a gift to others. Live your life that way. It become a gift and a blessing to others. And you will know the Holy Spirit is with you always. I will bless you now with a special blessing on behalf of Pope Francis, who I represent in, as Father said, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia as his representative there, that you may be all blessed and you become a blessing for one another here in Hamilton. Gospodin svama. Naklonite glave, da biste primili Boži blagoslov. Blagoslovio vas ve mogući Bog Otac, on vas je nanovo rodio vodom i duhom svetim i učinio svojim sinovima i kćerima. Nek vas čuva u svoj ljubavi. Amen. Blagoslovio vas njegov sin jedinac. On je crkvi obećao duha istine. Nek vas svojom moći utvrdi u pravoj vjeri. Amen. Blagoslovio vas duh sveti. On je u srcu učenika zapalio oganj ljubavi. Nek vas sve zajedno privede radosti kraljevstva Božjega. Amen. I blagoslov Boga svemogućega, Oca i Sina i Duha Svetoga, sašao nad vama i ostao uvijek s vama. Amen. Idite u miru.
Mm. Make sure you get everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, make sure you get my good side. Yeah. My hair is a mess today, but I'm sorry. I'm covering it, that's why. Okay, be careful. Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah.